Hello again, everyone. In case you are still busy with making a very good plan of your garden or in some other case, this video is about paths, not those of the Providence, but those in the garden. A child knows you need paths to walk, to cart, to ride. But there are some away things about pathways in the garden. They obviously lead the feet to the places you have to go, the places you want to go, and to the places might be worth to go. Now the tricky thing. By making the way longer, a walker gets an impression that the place is much bigger than it really is. And if you like, the journey may be endless. Just do not fail to make the turn. Less obviously, walk paths lead the eyes. They are the lines which give directions to the way you look at the garden. If there is something that must be seen, lay an avenue to such a place. You can also fool the eyes. Straight lengthwise roots give the illusion that the garden is deeper than it is. Transvertical, curly or diagonal will make it look wider. Innocent but very effective fraud. And not obviously at all, but very true, the pathways lead the mind. Straight tracks make the place look formal, organized, structured, classic, classy and modern. And you'll never get lost. Rounded and winding passages are more natural. They create smooth, harmonious, sedative sphere. Well, from the byway of observation, back to the way for walking a garden on both feet. A way can be hard, semi-hard or not hard at all. A paved path is very solid, easy to walk and easy to maintain. They can be lovely cleaned up from all the stuff falling on them intentionally or occasionally. By the way, the wind can also sweep them clean. And that's about all the maintenance they demand. Also important, if constructed properly, they will serve you for ages. Because of all these reasons, they are pricey. Semi-hard, made from solid material which is not solidly fixed. Stones, for example, naturally polished by sea or river water. A long time ago, when people had time, they used them to pave ways and places. These days, it goes like this, also charming in its way. To keep them clean is not very difficult. Pick up the big trash, smaller trash falls between the stones and gets melt while you walk. These stones were originally bigger and were made smaller by a crushing power of a crusher. That is why they have sharp sides and less comfortable to walk on. Smaller rubbles are more feet friendly, but it is more difficult to keep them home. They take every possibility to escape. Such passageway is soft, organic, very green, very natural and the cheapest. Only one disadvantage. It takes time to keep it this way in the summer. You'll have to mow it at least once in two weeks, to water it when it is dry, to fertilize, to keep it free from weed, to prevent it from spontaneous spreading and some more things. It's actually a subject for another long and serious conversation. 
To protect myself from the stress of choice, I've decided to take them all. All my paths of duty are hard, literally. To all places where I have to be daily, at any season, run paved passages. And there is no need to make a boulevard. They can be just wide enough to walk or to set a step ladder semi-hard, lay alongside the pond. I did see it as a very matter of course pooling, and the light color brings a fresh, cool accent. Those. I should better call them semi-soft. The perfect example of the win-win situation. A woodcutter gets rid of the useless branches and a gardener gets affordable, multifunctional stuff. The only but. This sort of coverage must be cleaned manually. No sweeping, no blowing. In the flower garden and in my fence side orchard, I just walk on grass. Looks attained and feels good. You've probably seen a lot of videos about easy way to pave a path. I'll tell you one thing. It is very easy to watch such a path being made. I've done it myself while these were under construction. And I'll tell you one more thing. The decision to leave this project to somebody who practiced the art of laying a path professionally was the best decision ever. Just imagine that you have to move all the building materials, including those you do not see because they lay under the tails, three times by charging, discharging, and by placing. They are not only hard, they are also heavy. And yes, just for fun, I've tried to place some tails next to each other. And yet, I could use my potential as a road builder. I've made uh, this and those. And I'll share this my experience in the next following video. Watch Mama's Garden, subscribe, send likes, share. Bye-bye.